Lubbock Tower, Cherokee 828, Mike Charlie at Gold Runway 8, ready for departure. Cherokee 8, Mike Charlie, hold short runway 8, arriving traffic. Hold short runway 8, 8, Mike Charlie. I'll open this up real quick so we can get sure. some more air in here. Cherokee 8, Mike Charlie, runway 8, clip to take off, wind calm, left close traffic approved. Pattern out to the record below 4,500. Left close traffic for 8 Mike Charlie, runway 8, right there, clear for takeoff. So he told us left traffic approved yep, and he wanted traffic. us to remain below 4,500? Yeah, so he, normal pattern altitude is 4,300, so you're good. Yeah, I don't know why he told us that though, but... There may be somebody, uh, um, well, I think there's maybe a T-38 in the pattern. He'll be a little bit higher than us, so... He said wind's calm also. Yep, wind's calm. Your speed's alive, green, your oil pressure, temperature. Rotate. Charlie, runway 8, clear for the option, wind 0107. Clear for the option, runway 8, eight Mike Charlie. The wind 010 at. Anyways, though, they shouldn't be too bad. I always disregard, I, I listen to them, but I always. I don't always get them memorized. Finals clear. Roger that. Yeah. King Reserve Golf Delta contact first. Golf oh, Delta. Dropped out on you. Yeah. That was unexpected. I tried to pull up, <laughs> but that's all right. I didn't have that proper crosswind correction. I was trying to find out where the winds were coming from because I noticed we had to crab a little bit. Yeah. But I a little bit of wind from the left. It's kind of thermally, so you know if you want to come on down and just kind of. Bring the throttle back. Check it, Mike Charlie. Make right or left traffic here. Discretion. Left traffic, get Mike Charlie. That way, if the bottom drops out, you'll still have a little bit of power. Okay. You know what I mean. I think what happened is you kind of the bottom dropped out. Probably as you pulled it to you pulled it right to idle. So then we just kind of came on down. No problem though.
so we have looks like a wind from our right. A little bit of left rotor here. But to keep that power in. Correct? Yeah, just slide on down with a little bit of power and then pull it off slowly when you get to the Valera. Here you go, right there, start pulling it off. Okay, you can pull it on back. Once you're down in the flare. Yeah. It might drop here. No, you're good. Keep pulling it back. There you go. Alright. Yeah, sorry, I might have confused you a little bit. You know, just you're gonna pull the power back to idle, just pull it smoothly and slowly okay. back. Otherwise you'll float down the runway with just you know, even with like twelve hundred RPM you're gonna float down the runway. Check in my trailer, make right over left traffic your discretion. Left traffic, eight my Charlie. Check in my trailer, traffic following is on uh, one mile final point seven thirty seven. Traffic inside Amos Charlie. Mike Charlie, follow that traffic. Runway eight clear for the option. Caution way turbulence. Runway eight clear for the option. Amos Charlie. We'll have to land above him. Yeah. So uh, how about if we uh, move our aim point about a thousand feet down the runway? Okay. So instead of aiming at the numbers, we'll aim at the oh the big cabin bars down there, the big wide white marks. Okay. That should be good. He'll be touching down right about there. So if we touch down past that, we're fine. Which would be just about right if our 50-foot obstacle was right at the numbers. You'd probably aim about 1,000 feet for past that to be 50 feet. Okay. We can take a look at it when we get down there and see where we are over the threshold. So 715, so right take blue, pop a contact ground point on our front with it. Pop a ground point on 715. Stay above him. Yeah, you're fine. I'm real high, but that's okay. We can glide down. You said the big white is what we're aiming for, or yeah, the let's use it? those as the big white. Use that as our aim point. And see, that's a thousand feet past the threshold of the runway. Okay. So when we come over the threshold, we'll, I'll just glance at the altimeter and see how high we are, just for fun. We'll just pretend a 50-foot obstacle is right there at that number eight. Okay. Yeah, this is good. We're well above him, so we're fine for wind turbulence. Okay. And this will work for our short field, too. The full flaps? Yep, definitely full flaps All on right. the short field. Airspeed's perfect, but just keep that all the way down. We're touching on the big white. Yeah. Try to. So there's your threshold, we're right about 80 feet, so we're good. Oh. Not too Sorry. nice, but. Oh, and you want to do the brake? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you'd leave your flaps. Oh, you leave them up? Up, uh, yeah. Because that gives you your. Don't worry about it now, but because that gives you your drag to, to stop short. You want to stop all the way, or do you want to? Yeah, go ahead and okay. stop all the way. And then we'll get our flaps to 25 for the short field. Okay. So now you want to two of that. See, that's 10. So okay. 25, and run it up all the way. Hold the brakes. Okay. There you go. And yep. Release the brakes all the way. Accelerate and keep the controls about neutral. Okay. Looking for about uh, 50 knots to rotate. There we go, rotate. Get your airborne. Climb over your 50 feet. Get uh, 
65 knots or so. Lower tower, Lear, 6380, Foxtrot, we'll be ready, uh, full length at runway 8. Okay, there's 50 feet, so now you can level off a little bit and accelerate. Work the flaps in, there you go. All right. Interesting. I need to work on those landings, though. Yeah. Number 6380, Foxtrot, low tower, runway 8, clear for takeoff, wind 003. So let's do a soft field landing. Uh, difference. Right, eight Mike Charlie, make right or left traffic gears. Left traffic, eight Mike Charlie. So on this one, you know the field may be kind of mushy, so you want to keep the nose, the weight off the nose wheel. So uh, you're just going to touch down as normal, nothing different. But as soon as you touch down, you're just going to keep the yoke back. Okay. And then uh, you know you can just uh, you can go ahead and break it to a stop, and then we'll do a short field takeoff as well. So short field takeoff is yoke all the way back, full power, and then you get the nose wheel up off the ground and then rotate at your normal speed once the nose wheel is, once you get your enough, enough speed to rotate. Okay. Uh, Let's see if I can overshoot it every time. Yeah, it starts to turn a little bit earlier. Probably have a wind out of north pushing you on the base there. Looks like we do, though. Yep. Yeah, wind's a lot, always a stronger at a thousand feet than down on the ground. All right, runway is paid. Last degree of flaps. It's jumping around a little bit, but what is the tachometer was jumping around when I was near near idle oh. cruising. Yeah, yeah, it looks like we have a little bit of a wind to our left, so we'll, as we get closer, put a little bit of right rudder in. Yeah, come on down. Now you throttle back. Right rudder. Uh. Keep working it, keep working it. Right, right, there you go, perfect. I'll just let her come down a little bit. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so, stop all the way? Yeah, go ahead and stop. You know, we'll get the short field and you'll call the way back. Oh, okay. There you go. So, you said it's one degree or two? Yeah, it's two. Not full, so two. one. There you go. So, all in right. this one, you'll call the way back. Hello Tower, All right, uh, helicopter number 185 Zero Delta at Arrow. There you go. And the idea is to keep it rolling so you don't get bogged down. So yoke all the way back. Okay. The nose wheel will come yeah, off the ground pretty quick. Zero Delta but don't let it get Zero airborne Delta. until you get to your rotation speed. So there's the nose wheel coming off. Let it come off. Okay. But, but don't let it fly until you get to and, rotate uh, it. So there you go. Your full call one more time. Okay. A helicopter November 185. And same Sierra as the same as the short field. Make sure you got helicopter about 70 knots Delta or so. Four seven six. Departure frequency one one nine point two. One one nine point two and zero four seven six. Zero four seven six. And helicopter five Sierra Delta departure from the west ramp will be at your own ah. risk. Wind two nine zero six. Yeah. Well, let's do a full stop, and then we'll tag you back and get you out solo. How's that? Okay, I want to try to get the landings down, because today it's pretty bumpy. Okay. I don't know if that's uh, me, or if that's just the weather, or what. But this is the worst I've had the landings is this time. Yeah, just keep Check working it. Mike Charlie, make left traffic. Left traffic, get Mike Charlie. Yeah, as you get close to runway, keep those s small inputs going. Okay. To keep it going straight down the runway and make it flare where you want. If you balloon a little bit high, just push the yoke in just a little bit to get it going back down and then flare again as you get close to the runway. Delta contact thank you. Okay, much earlier. Actually, uh, cancel option clearance and uh, turn to the south and enter the right downwind. Turn to the south, enter right downwind, hey, much earlier. So turn left and into the yep. right downwind? Yep. The changing runways? Uh, no, we're just the right downwind for runway 8. Uh, so he wants us to turn left. Yep, going south. So go base pretty much and then turn right? Or go left? Go right, back on the right downwind for runway 8. Interesting, I wonder why. 
Uh, uh, some, departing, maybe. Something to do with that traffic. It's out there. Yeah, Tower, you mind, Charlie, just to confirm, uh, you want us on a right downwind for Haiti, correct? Three one, Charlie, eight, permanent, just getting you out of the way of, uh, there's an Osprey behind you that's coming in. Right. All right, so we're just going to set ourselves up for a right downwind this time. Okay. And you can turn base whenever you... Did he say? Uh, nope. But you can turn base unless he tells you not to. Really? Yeah. She said re-enter right downwind, so... I don't think we're clear for the option, though. No, not yet. Check it, my Charlie. Runway 8, clear for the option. Runway 8, clear for the option. Eight, my Charlie. There you go. on the localizer this time. Rick 74, uh, where are you parking? Rick 74, uh, we will be taxiing to you the general aviation at the uh, this time. Rick 74, or correction, Rick 74, Roger, there is uh, two on the field, are you just going to the, the military contract one? Shepherd L Jet Center. Rick 74, Roger. Um, taxi, or correction, contact ground point, Niner. Switch the ground for Ruger 74. that? Military? Osprey. The what? That's an Osprey. Wow. Put some left rudder needed here. Coming down. But I feel like today we're moving much faster than usual. Yeah. And yeah, pull the power all the way off. That'll help you. Thank you. There you go. That was better. So, uh, what kind of takeoff now? Just a regular? Yeah, just a regular takeoff. Okay. That was better. Yeah.
There we go. Keep it coming, power out. Yep. Oh yeah. There you go. Make this a full stop, you said? Um, if you wanna turn to solo or you can do one more. They can do one more. Yeah, sure. Getting comfortable, but... Yeah, that was, was good. Alright, right rudder right there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, no. Come on. Not gaining airspeed. Oh, yeah, flaps. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're good. For a second, I thought I saw an illusion where the flaps are still up. Yeah. Wonder what happened. Is that normal or not? I don't know. It's not I just normal, might have the wind switch around a little bit of a tailwind for a second. Probably. But yeah, you did the right thing. You just held your attitude and, you know, as long as you got a nose up attitude, even if the plane settles sure a little bit. Charlie, uh, we're now switching to runway 26. Um, you can uh, either make a right or a left turn to uh, 180 back in and runway 26 clear for the option. Left turn for a 180, runway 26 clear for the option, aim on Charlie. Alright, so make a left. Uh, once we get about 38, and then just start yeah. to do a climbing right turn. Sure. Now you can turn left and then just set up on, uh, on the left head base. Head that way, and then you can turn right back base. around for right base to 26. Yeah. <laughs> you can see both runways today. Exactly. Yeah, I think that'll help you. Had a little bit of a tailwind going. Can we switch to COM 2 in that case? Since we're, oh, no, we'll land nah, you're good. with plenty of. On the room to hear the tower. The wind's probably shifted, and that's why we had a hard time taking off there. Yeah. Okay, hey, Tower, you're Mike Charlie. You ready first for a 26? You guys should uh, do a low approach. Checking Mike Charlie. Uh, runway 26 clear for the option. You can uh, stop and go, low approach, or uh, anything you need. Right, right. Okay, clear for the option, maybe I'm Charlie. He told us that on the right turn, or to make the left turn. Yeah, okay. But... Never hurts to... Double check. Confirm it, yeah. Alright, here we go. So since they switch runways, if you want to do this to a uh, full stop or okay. touch and go, whatever you want to do. Fine. I think you're ready if you feel like you're ready. So now it's going to be left rudder probably. Yeah. The wind's from the right. Strong winds. Up here. Yeah, a little bit. You just hold that rudder in the whole time coming down? If you want to, or you can crab and then put the rudder in later. Yeah, I'm trying Which to keep I'm the ball centered for the most part. Yeah. Make it a smooth descent. Next degree of flaps. A little less power. Checklist. Right. Landing light off, fuel pump off. That was from memory, so let me double check and make sure I got no everything. Problem. 
Flaps have carb heat off, fuel pump off, strobes off, yeah, taxi light, pedo heat off, grams to the takeoff, and then uh, altitude and spot. Yeah. Your altimeter, spot. And let's see, I think he'll want you to go to ground so you can go ahead and do that and get clearance to taxi back. To the intersection. Just be fun, watch him take off. He's going to take off on 2-6, but at Gulf, he's going to do a vertical takeoff, so. Wow. We'll watch him do that. Let him go now. From the ground, Ops 2, request no, back to Lubbock Arrow. Ops 2, proceed to Lubbock Arrow. Ops 2, proceed to Lubbock Arrow. How's he going to take off now? He's going to go straight up like a helicopter? Yeah. And then... Oh, so he's going on in the heading of 26, yeah. but vertical takeoff. Yeah, pretty cool. And what are they doing here? Refueling or practicing? Or? Just practicing, yeah. They probably bought some fuel and... Yeah, on out. Area. Have a good day. Wow, look at that. Right, yeah. Pretty cool. I wonder if it changes to an airplane once they're up there, or do they just fly like that the whole time? Yeah, between, I think it's 140 and 180 knots, it changes to an airplane. Wow. Yeah. So right about there, he's an airplane now. Yeah, I can see the propellers moving to the front slowly. Pretty quick acceleration. No propellers. Wow, yeah, there it is now. That's incredible. Yeah. Alright, so it's scheduled for an hour, so if you want to do four or five or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Sure, good night, for you, Let's, uh, Go have fun. Actually, exit, actually go off and continue, uh, I'll see you when you get back. I got the hops written down. I don't have a pen, uh, so we'll fill all that out later. Uh, if you want, Nick. No, we're good. We'll just get that way. You want me to cut it or no? Up, sure. No, you just leave it on. Okay. The way you wanted to restart it. All right, and continue. And, yeah, I'll be I'll be on tower. And, so, um, and we we'll talk on tower. And if we go to another frequency, I'll just tell you which frequency to go to. Okay, and uh, I'll just do my normal thing. If there's ever a point where you need to cut the butt in, you'll just talk, or um, I need to talk yeah, to your request. Yep, yeah, just go do your thing, and uh, I'll figure out where to go to watch. I'm not sure where to go, so okay. I'm not sure where uh, Blake went. Uh, I'll see if I can get Ops 2 to give me a ride out there or something. So but anyway, but I'll be on the radio, so all right, uh, no problem. Let's see if I got everything. I got everything. All right, I'll uh, get out, close the door, door, and then you're free to go. Okay.